So back in December last year, I made a video talking about what I think are the most grown up and mature episodes of Thomas and Friends. This show, much like the original railway series that it is based on, did not talk down to kids and was intended to be enjoyed by both its younger target audience as well as the adults that indulge in it with them. Well, when you're writing a children's book, you're writing for a whole lot of people. You're writing for the unfortunate parents who've got to read it aloud time after time after time after time. You've got to put in little funny bits, subtle bits, which they'll enjoy. And then, then there's the, the simple slapstick stuff, which the child will enjoy. One of the episodes on my list was Season 6's Twin Trouble. That video was really well received, and people had plenty to say about the episodes in it, including Twin Trouble. After reading the comments, I realised that I actually have more to say about this episode than what I could fit into that previous video. So, let's talk about what I think is one of Season 6's better, and quite frankly, underrated episodes. If you enjoy this video and want to see more like it, then don't forget to leave a like, share this video, and ring Toby's bell to stay notified for when I post new content. Now with all of that out of the way, let's get started. Right, so the episode focuses on everybody's favourite pair of Scottish twins, Donald and Douglas. We get a brief reintroduction to the characters, which is nice since before this episode, they haven't had any major focus since Season 3. We're told that the twins nearly always work together. Remember this for later. One day the twins get into an accident, which results in Donald derailing. The pair get into an argument about whose fault the crash was, and end up being so annoyed with each other that they refuse to speak to one another for the rest of the day. Next day, when the Fat Controller needs an engine to help duck, Donald eagerly volunteers, which comes as a surprise to everyone. While the twins are separated, things start going wrong for Duck and Donald. As it turns out, the pair don't work as well together as the twins, which results in Donald getting cross yet again. We also see that Douglas, despite trying not to, is starting to miss his twin, and things only get worse from there, as we see that Donald is unwilling to smooth things over that evening. It all comes to a boiling point, when Donald's temper results in him having yet another accident, and who else should come to his rescue? You guessed it, Douglas. This results in the twins making up and becoming friends again. The template of this episode isn't really anything new, as we have seen it done before, particularly with Season 3's One Good Turn. However, that episode didn't quite succeed in what it was trying to do in my opinion, whereas Twin Trouble did. But why is that you may ask? What makes Twin Trouble succeed in my opinion is the fact that it shows us the consequences of what can happen when family members, or even two close friends, fall out and refuse to make up. Firstly, it starts affecting both their work and their moods. Donald becomes a lot more snappier and grumpy, while Douglas becomes flat out miserable. On top of that, the episode teaches us that the twins work best together, as indicated by this scene with Duck and Donald. Did you shunt those trucks onto the other line? You said you wanted them on the other line. No, that other line. The other other line. Donald was cross. Douglas would have known what I meant, he huffed. This is why the twins work so well together. They don't need to always communicate with one another, because they just know what each other is thinking. You could almost call it part of their brotherly bond. I also think that it's important for us to discuss Thomas and Duck's roles in the episode. First, it has one of my favourite moments for Thomas in the entire series. Although season 5 was his maturity peak, he still maintained that same maturity and level of observation from time to time in later seasons. 
and this episode demonstrates that. I think one of my viewers, Autism Takes On, said it best. When Thomas brings up Annie and Clarabelle, who he's also close with, he has a face like, well, this is going to end badly. Like he knows what the twins are going to get into before it even happens, and he knows he can't do anything to prevent it. It also shows how love, in this case brotherly love, is a double-edged sword. Once you separate with those you love, you're in for a world of hurt, as Donald and Douglas found out. And that really is the point of the episode, since unlike One Good Turn, Twin Trouble shows us the consequences of what happens when you don't make amends with those closest to you. While the CGI series would show the pair arguing a lot, this was the first time that we ever saw it, which meant that we got to see a new side to the twins' relationship, showing us that they don't always get along, making the episode that much more grounded in reality. So what about Duck? Well as I said in my original video, Duck was the first engine that Donald and Douglas met when they came to Sodor. This is shown in the Railway series, and was meant to be shown in the cancelled episode, The Missing Coach. The fact that Duck is the one who brings the twins back together, shows us that he still has that previously established connection with them. It's a shame that this episode wasn't made into a two-parter, because I think it would have made even more of an impact. Like, imagine if after Donald scoffs at his brother visiting, we see Douglas sadly going to sleep in his shed, only for the episode to end there and pick up in the next one. The show has done many two-part stories before, mostly railway series stories, but also its own originals like the Jack in the Pack episodes from the same season. Having the episode end here would have made for an excellent cliffhanger, and give you as more of an incentive to see how things conclude in the next instalment. A lot of people say that Donald and Douglas were only treated as individual characters in Season 3, but I have to disagree. While they did get the most individual focus in the third season, the aspects of each character are built upon here. We found out in Season 3 that Donald was quite the dry character, with a very blunt sense of humour. Now we also see that he has quite the temper and is rather stubborn, as he's the one to start the argument and is even seen to be holding a grudge against his twin. Granted, Douglas appears to be stubborn too, but if you pay attention, you can see that he only ever snaps back if Donald bites his head off, and never actually starts any of the arguments. As for Douglas himself, we get to see that he is perhaps the softer of the two, since he did try to make amends with Donald. Plus, we get to see his heroic side once again, when he, without hesitation, springs into action and rescues Donald. Granted, I do think that Donald would have done the same, though I get the feeling that he might have needed a little coaxing, given his bad mood. My only gripes with this episode are when Douglas rescues Donald, why doesn't Duck help? Like, he's right there watching the whole thing. Yeah sure he wasn't strong enough to do it himself, but there's nothing stopping him from helping. I know it's probably to make the scene a little more impactful from a writing standpoint, but still. Also I feel that the episode kind of ends abruptly. Duck stops them from arguing again and tells them to be glad that the twins have reunited, and then the episode just flat out ends. Just another reason why I think that this story should have been a two-parter. It could have allowed for a scene afterwards, showing the twins working together again, showing us that they have indeed made up. Although to be fair, I am just nitpicking now. If you are going to watch this episode, then I would highly recommend watching the UK dub, Michael Angelis does a great job with every character in this episode. He conveys the worry in Thomas's voice, the concern in Duck, and of course he expertly conveys just how angry the twins get. Stop being pushy! Don't call me pushy! You shouldn't have pushed me into the car! You pulled me, I mean, argued Douglas. Donald and Douglas are some of the most popular characters in the entire series, and while there are several episodes that can show you why, I think that Twin Trouble is a hidden gem and quite frankly, an underrated episode that does just as good of a job building the twins up as episodes like Escape or Break Van. It's nowhere near as influential as those two, or as good in my opinion, but it is just as successful in its message, and that alone makes for some damn good writing. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope that you guys enjoy listening to me ramble about this hidden gem of an episode. What do you guys think of Twin Trouble? Were there any points that I missed? 
be sure to let me know what you all think in the comments down below. If there are any other episodes you'd like to hear me talk about, or if you do have suggestions for future videos, then I'd love to hear them. Now until next time, I've been Cinders and Ashes UK, you've been awesome, and have a great day. Bye!